everyone, what's up? It's Jerry here, of course, and today we're going to be doing the second episode of Fallout Minecraft Dead State. Um, I'm a little jittery because I've been having problems all day with recording. I finally got to work. Um, just a little problem with my hard drive. I fixed it, though, no problem. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go and get started. When we left off, though, I'm um, going to just do kind of the last episode roundup. When we left off, we were in the top of Brim City in a tower called The State, where we were in Brim City on top of a uh, skyscraper called The State, which is where our character believed to live at. Um, we went there because we found a note in our pocket inside the starting vault, which I didn't show that part, but that's, we read the note in the beginning of the, of the first episode. Um, we went there, and now we're here, and we left off there, so we're going to go and log into the world, play Selected World. And, as you can see right here, we're on the, on our first flashback ever. Um, this is, uh, right here, this entire little apartment is his house, and this is Steve. Someone requested that Steve be a badass, so, I mean, he's kind of... Okay, I don't know what he's doing, but he's kind of a badass. Uh, I gave him the stuff that I had currently, so, like, I didn't want to cheat and just give him rigged items. So I gave him some dual stone swords, which I had in my inventory, so I gave him those. And then I had, uh, my hat, I gave him leather pants. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't like to wear shoes because no shoes fit Steve because he's slightly bigger than last time. Um, yeah, I suppose, Steve, this kind of looks dangerous, I guess, since, you know, the couch is floating. Okay, the couch is floating there. All right. You want to sit on that couch? Because I don't. I mean, you might want to. Uh, let me get him to sit still, because he's freaking out. He's freaking out all over the place. Um, there we go. He's, he's fixed. He's not going to walk backwards and not show an animation. Oh, yeah. Here's the NPC one. I used to edit him. Let me throw it back in the corner so no one sees it. There we go. No one will ever know. Perfect. It's a perfect crime. Anyways, um, we're going to go and read the first flashback now. Um, I'm sorry. I have to pause it and then minimize it and then read it from a note because that's how it is because it would look really stupid on the walls like I said last episode. Um, okay, so here we are in the first flashback. Now, whenever you have a flashback, um, you get uh, what I call um, like radio interference when you're going back. I don't know if you ever played Fallout 3, when you're going between ages, uh, when you go from being a kid to like an adult, let's say, you hear about... Uh, you just hear your dad talking to you as it's the white screen, and then you come and do your character's eyeballs. That's basically what I did with the wave inter with the radio interference. It just says um, it's a lot of random mumble jumble concerning the fallout. Um, one one five zero eight nine four. You must war breaks through America, annexes Canada into nuclear war, starts devastation. Get in a vault. That's commission point. Um, just kind of saying like this is before. It's just kind of like a flashback of back then, and then this is you going back to it. Your character slowly remembers stuff that happened. Random information, even if it's just a word that doesn't make sense. Like, um, just, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to go and read it. Um, now, the character we're, I'm going to be talking about first is Emily. Uh, Emily is your uh, your daughter that your character discovers, so I'm going to go and pretend to be her as best as I can. Emily, Daddy, I don't want to go. I want to go with Mom to the airport. You, stop. You have been good all day. Just listen to me, we need to get going. Emily, but Dad, you. It's not like you're never going to see her again, Emily. Now let's go. I'm going to be late to work. No if and or buts. Besides, Mom already left. I couldn't let you go if I wanted to. As you walk into the room, you hear cracks from a the distance. They sound like explosions, but you are not sure. But then all of a sudden, the booms were incredibly close. Then you, then you could hear the whistle, then a boom... Wait, then a boom, okay, sorry, brain brain just stopped working. Then a boom, almost as if it were right in the city. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, the wall in front of my bed, okay, okay, my text pad's being retarded, which you guys can see it. It keeps teleporting back. One second, I'm sorry. Then a boom, as if it were right in the city. All of a sudden, the wall in front of my bed blew apart in front of me. I grabbed Emily and went down the stairs as fast as I could. As fast as I could. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Awkward quietness. I thought right away I need to go to the airport. Hint. Go to the right of the starting boat. North of Jacinto. So, basically we've got to get to the airport, which the hint says you need to go to the right of the starting boat, which you should remember where it's at. And then you need to go north of the city of Jacinto, which you find on the way to the airport. Pretty simple. I'll show you guys how to get there. Uh, so I'm just going to go close this. Uh, save the changes, because I did edit some uh, grammar issues, which was last episode, because I accidentally... Uh, Read it ahead of time just to see what it's doing. But uh, yeah, me and Steve the Badass need to go to the airport now. So we're going to do that. So Steve, uh, we need to go find... Oh yeah, what do you mean subscribe? Oh, I forgot to annotate it last episode, but I'll annotate it this time. Subscribe. Click it. It's right there. Click the subscribe button. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, it's gone. Good job, Steve. Teamwork. 
All right, we're not going to get down. Uh, hopefully, Steve doesn't die like last episode. He had triple my health, and that TNT completely obliterated him. I'm just going to take the path I took out before. Um, oh, and just to let you know, everything you see in the flashbacks um, is 100% accurate um, towards the storyline. So here's our room, and then here's our bed. Here's the giant uh, shell that hit the side of the building, and then here's your bed that exploded from the uh, little storyline thingy. So you can find stuff that relates to flashbacks and terminals in the real world, just to let you guys know. So uh, I thought I would just let you guys know that. Uh, so we're going to get back. Uh, now this episode is going to be somewhere around uh, 20 minutes long, somewhere around there. I'm going to try to make sure I remember when to stop recording. So I get to stop recording at 9.58, or not 9.58, that would be an hour. Um, I don't know how long. I'll just try to remember the numbers, something like that. <laughs> uh, who cares about time? Time's for losers. We're just going to go. You know you have school tomorrow. Yes, I have school. Ow! God dang it. Steve, you are a badass. You didn't take any damage. Yeah, as I said before, someone requested Steve be a badass. Uh... We're going to hyper jump down this little stuff right here. Yeah, like I talked about this stuff before, the ladders were done ow, purposely like that, so no one complained. This is where Steve died last episode. If you watched last episode, but you should have. You shouldn't be watching this one if you didn't watch episode one yet. Just letting you know. And we're going to run around across this. There we go. Mission Kappa, Steve. <laughs> Steve doesn't like to actually follow me. He just likes to teleport around, if you didn't notice. I'll tell him to wait and then follow. And there's that big old behemoth. I wonder if I could take him on. <clears throat> Cubes, why is it when you made a cubes? We already discussed this. Uh, I didn't change his lines. I wanted to change his line for making him more badass, but I forgot to. I'm sorry, guys. Um, well, that sucks. Alright, we're gonna go kill the behemoth. We're gonna make our best attempt to, anyways. Uh, ooh. Oh, God. Don't tell me you died. Alright, Steve, I'm gonna need you, Steve, so let's get you to teleport up here. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Alright, Steve, I'm gonna attack, and then you're gonna grape him, okay? Alright. Hopefully, you're set up correctly to actually attack. Oh! Get him! Get him! Go get him! Oh god, you're not set up correctly. No, I'm gonna have to fight him by myself. And the behemoth's range is terrible. Does he even do damage to me? Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm not scared of the behemoth anymore. Oh god. Alright, let's just kill him. I'm not scared of you anymore. I know I can't kill you because I didn't set it up right. <laughs> this was when I was first testing the custom NPCs mod, and uh, this was just when I updated I just added a bunch of poop. Holy crap, this guy's taking a beating. Holy bazoobs. Alright, I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm not gonna waste my durability. Alright. Come on, Steve. We need to go. Oh god, he's following us, Steve. Into the, into the house. Come on, Steve. In. Steve, come on. I don't have all day. Can you not fit? Steve, come on. Fit. Fit. Come on, you can do it. Alright, Steve, break in through here. Quick. I mean, that fatty might not be able to fit, but you can. I believe in you, Steve. Come on. Okay, Steve, you gotta walk over it. Walk over it. Quick. He's gonna get you. You don't really care, do you? Okay. Alright, we're gonna pretend he's not screwed up. Come on, Steve, I'm gonna... Oh, no! Oh, he made it! Yay! What in the bazoobs was that? Holy crap! Dun, dun, dun! Who says I pull it anyways? I'm gonna pull it anyways. <laughs> Run! Oh, God. Classic trap. Nicely done, Trigger. Classic, classic trap right there. You almost got... God dang it. Okay, you kind of got me. You almost got me. I'm too smart for that nonsense. Yay, this looks dangerous. Are you going to say it like a thought? Okay, I'm definitely going <laughs> to nerf his dialogue a little bit because he likes to repeat himself quite oftenly. Okay, some bones. I've got the bones just for, um, whatever it's called, poop in the mouth, something like that. Somewhere around there. Something I think it's like that, I believe. Um, yeah, let's go and grab. Shovel screen. <clears throat> now these, this is a white one, but oh, hello, this is a white uh, refrigerator, which is supposed to be safe, but sometimes they have like a 98% chance to be safe. This is one of those unlucky ones that aren't safe. Um, I know this because I set it up purposely like that, because I like Omega stalkered it and uh, made sure I always made it according to the color. The darker your color you get, the dangerous your refrigerator is, but the greater rewards it'll yield. You can always just break the the rule like I did and just open it up, but that seems to waste my time. Okay. <clears throat> so, in one of the updates I added in this road that connects Brim City and Jacinto, so this is another pathway you can take. If you, if you did the storyline, you'd probably go back through the tunnel or back through the way you came, and then you'd follow this pathway. Um, or this pathway, you probably have to go back to the starting vault, which I could go that way and get to the starting vault, but I'm gonna go this way because it's faster. 
Um, now here is a gas station. Oh, this is a really destroyed one too. Um, I'm just gonna break through the window here. And there we go. I'm gonna check around for loot. Here we go. And, ooh, some chain leggings and stuff, which are okay. I'll grab them just because they're chain. <laughs> they're the main reason why I'll grab it. That's why I didn't come through that way. Um, now, as I was saying, the, under these gas pumps, now remember this, I try to make it as realistic as possible, and there is coal, or charcoal for, to represent kind of oil, you know, just, I did my best job at it, um, but, you know, it's kind of cool, I thought it was cool anyways, I thought it was a smart idea if I did that, um, <clears throat> let's break this, alright, Steve, don't get in the way, no, Steve, okay, give me your charcoal, and there we go. Oh, you know, I just realized poop. I'm sorry, I had it on peaceful by default because I wanted to make sure no one else would be pooping on my chest if I didn't do that. So that will make this far more exciting now. And I also am going to turn this down a little bit. Just so you guys can hear me when I'm fighting the them to death. We'll turn on the music too, like 10%, and then you guys can, like, rack out to the casual Minecraft music if that's okay. If you guys don't want it on. If you... What is that? Something happened here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What happened here? <laughs> this is supposed to be the town of Chip, and these are supposed to be feral ghouls, but uh, in, the, in the new custom NPCs update, pretty much everything got screwed up, including the behemoth. Um, <laughs> this, this was not supposed to happen. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna walk away. This is one of the experimental towns. This is not... This is not at all anywhere close what the uh, version 2.2 update looked like so don't assume that it looked nothing like this the town setup is but the NPCs obviously weren't white blobs and they had quests and stuff which I accidentally deleted it um, actually I didn't accidentally delete it I accidentally lost it um, why do these look so weird wait those are telephone poles why do these trees look so weird yes these telephone poles right here are telephone poles they're not trees they're supposed to be telephone poles and then when you come to an intersection of any road you get the little, like, intersecting one. So, yeah. It's just always been like that. Just kind of like a little fact about the map. And I don't want to die. I need to eat real quick before I die. Alright, Steve, cover me. You know, you do nothing. You're practically useless. I'm going to fix you real quick, too. Alright. We're going to fix Steve up so he'll actually help me fight during the middle of the episode. I know it's kind of inconvenient for you guys, but, uh, oh, well. We're gonna have to do it anyways. Let's just uh, too many items it, and throw that down, and give me the NPC wand. Um, let's go ahead and edit him real quick. And so we need to give him a um, job, which it should be guard, attack monsters. Um, yes, attack other mobs, and that should be good. His aggro range. Um, he should attack people now. Hopefully, we'll test it out real quick. He should. He follows around me. He should follow me around now and have the. Uh, Oh god. Oh god. I remember this old glitch. Nopes. Nopes, you're gonna have to see this. <laughs> Nopes is the mod maker. Um Yeah. I'm probably I might need to remove his attack lines if he does that again. Let's see if he's gonna do it again. Oh yeah, he's gonna do it again. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to remove that. Come here, Steve. Come here, let's get rid of your your attack lines. For the subscribers, time to die. Let's do this. Oh, gone. So now he can't say anything, so we should get that area. Alright. Oh, look at him pooping on kids, dude. Holy crap, he's just going ham. Look at him. Oh my god, Steve, you're a badass. Except for the mobs don't attack you. Why is that? Ha! <laughs> uh, custom NPC's mod. He's, I'm, that's why I'm not working on the mod yet, because I'm waiting for it to update. Uh, this is the city of Jacinto. Hello, Steve. Um, now... Okay, Steve's gonna... Okay, thank you, Steve. Your boss. Uh... What we're going to do is, uh, from just until we're just going to scavenge a little bit, and then we're going to head back up to where we need to go, so. Uh, let's just keep scavenging. <clears throat> All these chests. Um, here's a nice little convenient trap. Uh, I do seem to remember a lot of the traps. Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. Die! Da -da 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 He's dead. Alright. Alright. This is why I like to plan hard. Because the zombies just sit there and smash the door to death until it dies. Which makes absolutely no sense at all. 
You know? Alright, now, before everyone thinks, why well, am I picking up these apples? The apples are really, really, really good. You need to get them for the gold ingots that you can find around the map. It makes it way easier for yourself. Um, and here's some pressure plates. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Okay. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. I set off a trap, no one panic. No one's okay, no one died. Steve? Are you dead? Don't tell me you're dead again. Steve, where oh there you are. Okay, good. I almost panicked, Steve. Come on. Steve, screw Jacinto. We're going to the uh we're gonna go to the airport. We're already well suited. All we need is iron boots and we're we got a full set of iron. Oh god. Boom! Right in the head. Get him! Get him, Steve, get him! Okay, you're not attacking the beepers. Why is that? Steve, quit teleporting and help me. Get him. Yeah, sick him. Sick him, Steve. Why wow, you're rigged. I might need to <laughs> nerf you again. Oh my god. Alright, Steve, come here. Come here, come here. You're, you're losing that line. You're losing it. You're losing it. Where, where is it? You mean subscribe. You're losing the line. Get rid of that. You say it too much. Sorry. Alright, move on. Pretend you guys didn't see that again. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna waste this iron sword completely. There we go. Alright, uh, zombie, you're not gonna get any effective kills up there unless you plan on sniping me. Boom! Boom shark box. Zombie kills. I see a vault over there. We're gonna go to the vault. Going to the vault. I just want to show you guys something. Some of my famous redstoning. Breakthrough here. Oh my god, is that a zombie? Oh yeah, that's a lot of zombies. Steve, sick him, Steve. Let's open up our vault door here. My brightness on, Moody. Oh, it's all bright. We're good, we're good. There we go. Welcome to Vault 75. One of the older ones. Uh, one of the first ones, actually, in the original Fallout map. Puzzles. Puzzle areas marked with red signs means that you cannot break anything in this area. That's if you want to abide by the rules and you actually want to have fun on the map and play it 100% the way you should. Because you are allowed to break everywhere else you want, which is rare for any custom map, so you should appreciate that. Um, okay, so um, enjoy your stay at Vault 475. Okay, so here's the, please enter your Vault resident code. Vault code must be valid. Enter here. Um, so this here is a long and dynamic redstone uh, thingy here. Now, we have to figure out how to open this. Now, there's always a hint right here. Um, resident database power door on off now I'm pretty sure if you just pull all of these down nothing will happen because I have it fail safe to where the certain amount of the levels need to be pointed up and down so see it's not working so you can't cheat it sorry all of my red settings anti-cheat unless you actually cheat and just break the blocks of course um, so we need to figure out how to actually do this so in here there's a room in the database room this looks like I could actually go in there and find information so I'm gonna go investigate Power maintenance room. Uh, the door power set was off, so or on and off, so it was was. I'm gonna see if I can get it open. Power switch un unoperatable source. Four errors detected in circuit board uh, locations. One no switch at one missing link. Um, no source at two at three. Fixed protocol failed due to humanoid zero zero one not operatable. So we need to go to the circuit board entrance. Um, now this is kind of like a basic. Uh, redstone fixer upper kind of tutorial here now what you have to do here is we need to replicate the one that's not damaged which is the fourth switch because the fourth switch said there was nothing damaged so this is one we need to replicate so we need to drag all the redstone wiring like this and like that and that fixes it but we need to get a lever too so we can fix this spot so we'll pull down the levers that we got for now and we need to get a lever now to open up that door that was out there so we need to get some sticks unfortunately I don't think I have any sticks so we're gonna have to go find something wood that we can break possibly um, I'll have to go above ground real quick, unfortunately, for you guys. Let's go up there. Um, I think the reward's well worth it. I don't exactly remember what's in this vault, but I think this is the one of the nicer vaults. Or I could jack the... I'm just going to jack the lever. <laughs> oh, give me that. Give me that lever. Give me, give me, give me. All right, jack the lever. Um, I probably should... Okay, yeah, this area isn't marked off with no puzzle, so I'm allowed to break blocks here. I can even break down the piston poopy to get in here, okay? So no one be like, hey, you broke your own rule, because see, here it is, right there. I'm good. See, I'm good. I know what I'm doing. I'm ahead of the game, dude. Dudes and dudettes. Alright, power ma maintenance room again. In here, go through this long corridor of poopiness. And now we need to turn off this light. So do this and poop. There we go. Bang. Shaboom, bang. I should make it to where when all these get turned off, this one will turn, um, this, it'll turn on to show that it's on. Um, so it would be on right now, but you know, it should be off by default. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Sorry, more redstone talk. Let's go back and see if that door opened so we can see if we can find any information that might help us out. 
This door still has not opened. Resident database power door on slash off. Um, did I fix everything correctly? I could have swore I did. Let's go back. It'd be a shame if I was messing up at my own redstone thingy. Everything seems to be working here. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, maybe I should check it. I and mean, I am playing this to test it out, so I probably should check the redstoning. I'm gonna check it out, guys. I'm sorry. Check it out. Let's see what's wrong here. Okay, what does it say? If off, then fixed. Far left set left stays on. Okay, so yeah, so the left one should be on. I think that's correct then. Um, let's see what the what's the problem here? Did an Enderman maybe pick up a block? So, okay, I don't want to make sure I don't destroy any signs. That'd be bad. Red sunning goes here, and it should open up the door. So when these all get powered on, it relieves the signal, and then the signal should probably turn on another block somewhere. I'm assuming to turn the signal back on. Yeah, here it is. This is right where the signal gets sent to turn it back on. Because currently this would be off if all of them are plucked, so they get turned on, and then what happens? Let's see. Let's go through here. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, so... Oh, okay. I see the problem here. The signal um, needs the curve, so... This is an easy fix real fast. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. I'm just going to do some of my own manual editing here. Let's just go ahead and uh, delete this. The door gets opened, but it shouldn't be getting opened. So we'll just leave this. Yeah, uh, I can hear the zombies somewhere around here. Going ham and something. Break this block, and we need to replace this. That there. That there. And this there. And that. Now it's working correctly. So that's a bug. This is why I test stuff, because, uh, so there we go. We fixed that bug. Um, I'll have to remember that to actually come back to it um, when I release version 2.2, because that's a pretty big bug. Um, so we go here, and that'll open up the door for us. Oh, oh God, Steve, you scared the bazoobs out of me, dude. Alright, so now the door is working. I got all the levers to work correctly. It's working now. Um, this is before uh, I got the text idea. This is before the quest, the storyline was made, so this is going to be redone. Start here at the top. Residents register list one loaded. Resident zero. Okay, you got all these numbers. Residents registered list two loaded. Residents not checked in list one loaded. Jefferson Gabe. Resident missing person Gabe. Location Brimhaven. Address 4207 apartment. Um, I believe um, 4207 apartment is a is an apartment building. I think it was the same apartment building that your character is actually in. So I probably messed it up. Uh, I didn't get to see it because I actually, I did the cheat, I did my little method where I go up the skyscraper instead of actually, like, going up it with the elevator that was broken, or the ladders, in quotes. Um, residence missing person, Gabe, too. Past check-in, or past check-in date is 128 years late, so he's a little late. Um, residence missing person, Gabe, vault code still verifies status unused. So, he has a vault code that's unused, so I can still use his vault code to get into this vault if I can find um, the apartment he lived in. And maybe I'll find something there that'll be use of use to me. And process 002 after 001, process closing, process error, process cannot be closed due to the gateway to open status. Uh, just a bunch of mumble jumble. Uh, so yeah, we can't go into here yet, guys, I'm sorry. We'll, have to, we'll probably have to pass up Brim City again one day, so we'll come back. No problem, we'll be back again. Um, so we're gonna get going again. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, right here's a Ladai shop. Ladai shops are nice. A Ladai shops have a little bit of secrets in them, but they also have a uh, uh, die in them. I'll let you guys figure out the secrets yourself. Um, so they have uh, Ladai shops always have different dies in them because I noticed that there was no dies in the map. So you can find uh, I think there's three total Ladai shops in the map, and you can find them all over the place. Me and Steve are gonna boss it through here. Um, I'm gonna actually gonna go through it for once. Let's beat the poop out of these people. Oh my god. Yes, we're beating the poop out of these skeletons right now. Do you see the poop flying out? Oh, I do. Look at that. Dirty. Good song. Alright, let's make some torches. I don't have any sticks. Crap. Alright, we're going through without torches, boys. Alright, let's check these rooms. Hurry up and rush. Some mobs can't spawn in. Ooh, hey. Oh, black. Black is always, always the very safest, in quotes, thing to pull. Okay, it's not safe. Run! Run! Steve, get out of there! Okay, so that, that, uh, that was obviously dangerous. Alright, you have the nice peaceful music playing now. Usually I never go through the tunnels, but I figured I'd go through it for once. Um, okay, here's a room right here. Looks, looks collapsed. Steve, cover me. Um, 
Okay, so this needs to be fixed. There's another bug I gotta fix up. Uh, now, these rooms, I always, I've been hiding, I've hit about five secrets from you guys already in the first and second episode, which is this episode, so I'm gonna show you one. We're gonna break through here, and there's a door. Behind this door, we can open this chest, and we got a lot of goodies. Let's go to my too many items. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the stack of arrows. Definitely gonna grab that, and the gold, the redstone I'll grab just in case I ever need it. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a little safety room, but this is a big secret. This is one of the little secrets in there. It's kind of like a little blooper kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know what to say for it, but it's just kind of a little secret room. A stack of arrows is always nice. You can't find really a stack of arrows anywhere. Um, holy bazooza, I'm getting beat by spiders. Die! Da -da -da -da. Oh god, creeper, 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 creeper. Oh god, I, I can't sprint or jump because I don't want to lose my last half ham. Oh, I lost it. Crap. Ugh, get away! Oh yeah, Steve tanked the damage for me. Holy crap, Steve. Yeah, you sick him, Steve. Oh, yeah, there's the airport. Oh, yeah, we're there. We're there, guys. All right, let's go in here. All right, Steve, do you want to lose that line too, Steve? Can you lose another line, maybe, perhaps? Maybe just a little bit? All right, let's go in here. Screw buttons and doors. Break through. Holy bazoobs. I'm saying that a lot this episode, ain't I? There's a lot of mobs here. Die! Oh, God, you're not going to die. You're going to blow up. Really should invest in getting a pumpkin. Okay, that works. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can find something. I mean, these are all terminals. So I'm gonna check all the terminals. Nothing. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Order of three. So this is the next. Oh God, look at him. Holy crap! You're going crazy. Let's see who wins. Oh, Steve, you're so ba. Nicely done. You're gonna have to be nerfed next episode. <laughs> Main quest: Terminal two, order three. So this is the third uh, order. Order, blah, 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 blah. and this is a terminal number two. So we're gonna go and read this, and then uh, we're probably gonna leave the episode off there. So at least you guys will get to see a little bit more of the story. Uh, so I got, of course, I have to pause the game and go read terminal number two. Uh, terminal two. It starts off with flight recall, flight twelve log, flight twelve pilot. Air control, please come in. We need to take an emergency landing. Please come in. Traffic control, or it should be air traffic control. My bad. Traffic controls. Yes, please make your landing immediately. Pilot. Oh, what's that? Exclamation point, exclamation point. I can see these huge clouds soaring into the sky. It looks like it's smoke coming from Brim City. Traffic control. Pilot, make your landing immediately. We need all airways clear. The U.S. Air Force is coming in to get get in. Wait, oh wait, it scrolls over. Okay, my bad, my bad. It's coming in. Get out of the sky now, exclamation point. Pilot, static. It's all static -y. Oh my, see, God, explosion. Just went up and it's massive. Oh no, I'm losing control of the plane. I need... Okay, sorry, that's not in it. The shock waves from the blast are throwing the plane around. I'm going to try and land it to the lake northeast of here, of the hangar. Traffic control, sorry, we are losing you. Can you repeat? Traffic control, please respond. Flight 12. It would be, in parentheses, it would be smart for me to look for this plane. Tr transmission closed. Hint. It sounds as if there was some sort of lake near the hangar. Searching around it would be wise. Um, so. Yeah, so this is the only kind of evidence we find of anything dealing with uh, our wife, which we don't know her name yet because we haven't discovered it, so I'm not going to say it, but our wife uh, went into the airport for some sort of meeting of some sort, but uh, actually you won't even know the reason why unless I actually tell you why, but uh, I'm not going to tell you why. Either, so. um, we'll go to the, we'll go find the crashed airplane, hopefully there'll be one, we'll go check it out. Um, so hopefully our character will find one, hopefully we'll be able to find the remains of our wife, possibly. <laughs> um, now, there is a lot of uh, little knickknacks in this th map that always remains consistent, like this helicopter. The helicopter is pretty key. Uh, in the back of the helicopter, you can always find the engine of a vehicle. All vehicles have engines of some sort, except for the airplane. I remember not putting one in there a while ago. Um, helicopters, any type of vehicle, always has an engine, so you always want to salvage that. It's very useful. Um, that's nine iron right there. So just keep that in mind. You can find helicopters all over the place. Um, this is one of the like seven. So, uh, so we need to go northeast of the hangar. So, um, Minecraft in my Fallout map, we don't use compasses or the sun or the clouds moving direction. We use um, an object and we use the object and we go the direction of that object. So in this case, our object was north or northeast of the hangar. So the hangar is our object and we need to go northeast of it. So or northwest of it, my bad, pretty sure it's northwest it said. Um, so we need to go northwest of the object. So the object's here, which is the hangar. North would be the, north would be facing the object, and then northwest would be this way. So we need to go this way. 
Um, easy way to remember which way to go is you follow the runway off, and then you go straight from it. Uh, I just remember this uh, just from creating it. Now, I'll probably should put trees or something around here, too, so you know you're in the net, because uh, I did make a note a while ago that you need to be around trees, like these trees that I put down by hand. That means you're here. Um, that means you're within the map boundaries. Um, so yeah, here is something strange in this little lake. So we did find a lake. Um, we're going to investigate it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go and look around here real quick. I want to go around the back. I can see it now. I could have swore. Now the plane is there. I can see it right there. I could have swore I had a tail um, sticking out right over here. But I guess I moved the tail right there. There it is. Um, there we go. So we're going to go and find an entrance in here. Hopefully Steve doesn't drown because he's stupid. Let's find a way in here. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> we'll find the something in here that we need to read, hopefully. Well, I wonder why it's called a dead state. Well, that's a good question. I wonder why it's called a dead state. Okay, hey, order four, so we're still going the right way, and we got terminal number three, and it's the main quest. We're going to read the last this terminal, and then we're going to go, and this way, next episode, we can just kick it off and get going. So I'm going to minimize this and get the next terminal up, which is terminal number three. So terminals number three. Flight recipients, Class A, John Dean attending, Kennedy Johnson attending, Lauren Walter attending, Jefferson Gabe missing, flight was rescheduled. That's interesting. I found something on Jefferson Gabe a while ago. Emelina missing, me. I remember this name from somewhere in parentheses. We, we scheduled, rescheduled flight for Monday. Stated she left to Robkins Bottle Cap Factory. Maybe this is my wife. I should go to this place in parentheses. Uh, Pedro Jalapena attending. Hint, Robkins Factory can be found from a pathway leading over a bridge in Jacinto. So, I need to go back to Jacinto again, and after that, i got to find a bridge connected to Jacinto and follow that pathway. Um, so, yeah, I probably could scavenge this helicopter, which I'm not even going to bother, or the uh, helicopter, not helicopter, uh, plane crash. Uh, but I will tell you guys this, there is something worth uh, checking this place over. Um, definitely come here and check out all of the chests you can find in here. Definitely worth it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. We're going to stick around and wait for the next episode. Now, leave a comment on what you want me to do with Steve. Sting's Sting's already been doing with Steve, and I'm going to be nerfing his ability and actually make it to where mobs will attack him. Um, hopefully, anyways. And nerf is talking. Definitely going to be changing that because it's really annoying. Uh, so yeah, uh, feel free to leave a comment, guys, what you want me to do with Steve and, of course, what you guys want to see in the next episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. See you around.